Discord here now with your forecast, tracking a pretty big storm that's moving in. Yeah, this is a decent one on the way, Linda, and it comes with lower snow levels than most of what we've seen so far this season. And a live look outside right now, the Sundial Bridge in Redding. I showed you this shot during the morning show this morning, and I said if you want to get that walk in, you need to get it in early, and this is why. We've already had some rain in Redding. You can see it's wet there now. Some people still out there enjoying it, but with hoods on and umbrellas, and that's really going to be the name of the game this afternoon and evening. Now, moving forward, the biggest impact is going to be from snow in the mountains. We have winter storm warnings going into effect, already in effect for Trinity County. That'll be in effect through 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, up to 10 inches of snow there. Winter storm warning now for the Sierra. This is an upgrade from the winter weather advisory that was issued earlier. That begins at 7 p.m. tonight and lasts through 10 p.m. on Wednesday. Down to 4,000 feet, we're looking at around 10 to 19 inches of snow possible, and higher peaks could be dealing with two feet of snow from this system. So decent amounts, and that's great news because the snowpack is not where we want to see it. It's around a third of what you normally expect to see this time of year. 40s to lower 50s in the valley. We're ending up in the 40s for the foothills, and we're in the 30s to low 40s in our mountain zones right now. And wind is picking up as well as these wet systems get closer to the coast. 17 miles an hour out of the southeast in Chico right now. We'll see gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour possible later on this afternoon out of the southeast. And then wind staying breezy tonight, but then diminishing through the day on Wednesday. Satellite and radar, I'm tracking some showers heading into Trinity County and Shasta County as well. You can see some showers falling through Redding area right now. Heading to the south, just north of Red Bluff, we've got some showers tracking through as well. You can see this is drawn in by two separate wet systems circulating along the west coast, one to our north, the other directly off the coast, pulling this moisture into our region, and that's what's leaving us with the rain, snow, and cooler temperatures that we have going on throughout today. So most of you in the valley have not seen the showers just yet. We're just starting to see them moving into Red Bluff right now. We've had some in Redding for the last couple of hours, and this band is going to continue to work south through the afternoon. And get a look at this. Heavy rain in a band moving through just in time for the evening commute home. Snow in the mountains. Heavy rain continuing into tonight. A little bit of a lull overnight for most valley areas while we still have those showers in the mountains. Showers then fizzling out through the day on Wednesday, mostly early to midday for those showers, but some lingering in the Sierra into the afternoon. And then we're dry for Thursday, but then another chance for showers returns late Friday into Saturday if your forecast. And that's short lived as well. That looks like that'll wrap up by early Sunday morning. And it's going to bring some decent snow totals, but not much in the way of rain for the valley. Now rain totals from this system about a half an inch to an inch in the valley to an inch and a half or so in some of our higher elevations and another system giving us another maybe tenth of an inch or so on the way for Saturday. Snow totals impressive. It looks like we're going to see it to around a foot of snow across the Sierra from this system and then the next one rolling through giving us another half a foot of snow heading through on Saturday. So some good news there. Need to see those totals bolstered. Temperatures today 40s in the northern mountains, 30s to 40s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothill areas in the 40s to lower 50s and if you're in the valley today it's mostly lower 50s for the afternoon 51 for Redding 53 and Red Bluff 54 for Chico and 56 for Orville coming up in just a few minutes we'll have your storm tracker seven day forecast for your weekends always in view.